Recently, we gave a prophecy about the conflict between the United States and Iran, all right? And in that prophecy, I specified uh, that there were going to be strikes within Iran in response to some kind of attack on uh, ships and also a downing of a plane. Now, I want to take you back to that prophecy, all right? Now, on that prophecy, I specified that there will be a downing of a plane and people dying. And then I said that there would also be an attack on U.S. warships. All right, so we haven't seen the attack on the U.S. warship or the naval ships, okay? We haven't seen an attack on them yet, but we have seen the downing of a plane. We have seen people dying. Let's go back and watch that prophecy and see uh, what the Lord specified on this prophecy. Praise the Lord. I want to give a quick prophecy on the 31st, on our New Year's Eve, uh, December 31st, 2019. I gave a prophecy that has quickly been coming to pass. And I want to share this prophecy very, very quickly. On the 31st uh, of December of 2019, the Lord gave us a prophetic word that there was going to be uh, a U.S. strike within Iran and uh, that there was going to be U.S. strikes within Iran. Now, that has been happening so quickly. Uh, we just finished our tour uh, in Cleveland for two days uh, talking about prophecies for 2020. But during that span of time between the 31st and today, there's been so much development. Uh, we haven't been able to do any video and be able to post uh, about these specific prophecies. Uh, but this is one of the prophecies that the Lord gave us on the 31st of December of 2019, that there was going to be U.S. strikes within Iran. Now, we haven't seen that yet, but we have seen the escalation. So I want to go ahead and give this prophecy right now uh, that I saw U.S. strikes within Iran, inside Iran, all right? And uh, it was because of some kind of a strike on uh, U.S. ships, okay? and downing of a plane, all right? So, and uh, people died on that process. Good evening and thanks for joining us. As families across this country mourn, we begin with big developments in the downing of the Ukrainian Airlines passenger plane in Iran that killed all 176 people on board, many of whom were either Canadian citizens or Iranians who were permanent residents here. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says intelligence he has received reveals it was shot down by an Iranian missile. We have intelligence from multiple sources, including our allies and our own intelligence. The evidence indicates that the plane was shot down by an Iranian surface-to-air missile. As you can see, investigations are now going on. Uh, the Prime Minister of, uh, of Canada, Justin Trudeau, and also a lot of nations are now investigating uh, this thing. But the evidence is already pointing that Iranians uh, brought down that Ukrainian plane uh, you know, uh, in their country accidentally, killing about probably 107 people in it. In that prophecy, I specified and I said that there will be people dead, a plane will be brought down. Uh, that has come to pass. Let's pray that God can, uh, in one way or the other, uh, change the leadership in that nation, all right, so that peace can prevail. I believe that the people in Iran do not want war, and people in the United States do not also want war, all right? So prayer changes things. Let us pray, okay? that that regime will not go and attack the U.S. naval ships and bring to pass the second part of that prophecy. Because listen, the second part of that prophecy involves the U.S. striking within Iran. But that's not going to happen until they attack the naval ship or the U.S. warships. So let us pray also for the families of people who have died through that plane, or the, the plane that was down in Iran. The Lord spoke about that specifically on this prophecy, and we have seen that coming to pass. Now let us pray, 
okay, that the enemy doesn't escalate this to a point where Iran gets more strike within their nation. And let me tell you this, Trump will do it. Trump will not hesitate to defend this nation. And those of you who don't like him because he's doing his job, you're kicking against the pricks and it will not work. So if you hate him because he's doing the work that the Constitution gives him power to do, you're kicking against the pricks. And let me warn you, listen, we are commanded in the Bible to pray for our leaders, beginning with our kings, okay? So it's a command for every Christian out there to pray and not hate, all right? You may not like the guy, all right? I don't like the tweeters, I don't like um, other things, but he is our president, all right? And if you listen to the other prophecy that we gave, uh, this second term is going to bring out a more spiritual Trump, a more righteous Trump. So let us pray for him, that God's able to transform people spiritually and bring him out to be who he wants them to be. God's power is able to transform people and change them. And listen, I had a vision of Trump wearing a white suit, okay? I've never seen the guy wear a white suit, but that means that the spiritual posture of his spirit and soul is going to change. And God's going to do something amazing, miraculously, a spiritual miracle in his life during the second term. Now, if you know how to pray, I want you to pray with me. Join me in prayer as we fast and pray, all right, that God will intervene and do a miracle. Listen, we, we can take out Ayatollah without weapons. We can take him out with prayers, all right? We can pray him out, all right? We can, uh, listen, if you're a prophetic person, you have power to pull up and to uproot. Listen, we can call forth the judgment or the justice of God to prevail for the nation of Iran, all right? Because people in that nation, they want to live their normal lives, okay? They want to love their families and raise their kids and have a better life. They're not interested in all this religious uh, crazy stuff, this all the religious jargon that is going on. They're not interested in all this extreme stuff, all right? They want their children to grow and to, to have their parents and to, to, to have a good life. Every parent out there in the world want to raise their kids to have a good life. And I believe that's what millions of Iranians, and let's also pray for Christians, Christians, there's, there's a, a mighty move of God in Iran and, and Christians, are, uh, churches are springing up and the, the Christian body in Iran is growing fast. Let us pray that this doesn't bring some kind of reprisal against them or some kind of hatred or persecution against them. Listen, let us pray that God can take out Ayatollah Khomeini. Listen, he can do that and establish a new leadership that longs and loves peace uh, to prevail in this nation. So let us pray that the second part of this prophecy doesn't take place, all right? That the Iranians don't attack the U.S. warships. Our naval ships are not attacked. And it doesn't lead to Trump having nothing else to do but to protect and defend this nation, which he has a right to do. All right, so let us pray that that doesn't have to happen. But our prayers as a church makes the difference. Let us pray instead of attacking. Let us pray because prayer has power. All right, God bless you. Shalom.